Have you ever found yourself in this situation? You're Germany, you've conquered Poland and France. Problem is, you can now advance either into the Soviet Union or UK. You obviously want to get rid of the UK as fast as possible because they can like do naval invasions and shit. So you want to get them out of your system. Also, they uh, provide a large amount of land for you to control. For example, you could get Canada, Australia, the entire Commonwealth if you beat them. Uh, so that's what you want to do right after you've defeated France. So how do you do that? Of course, you need a naval invasion. You can also do paratroop invasion, like airborne shit. I'm not sure if that <laughs> if that's worth the time, because if you look at the research, uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, in this case, I've started in the 1939 Blitzkrieg scenario. You already have paratroopers unlocked, but you also have to like deploy them and all that and achieve air superiority. So it's not worth it just to do naval invasion. Uh, the key to doing a naval invasion is uh, I've already prepared, uh, kind of prepared this one here. You're going to uh, take this naval invasion order and start uh, from a landing harbor. Just press uh, left click and then do a right click. On the target. Uh, that's really what you want to do. Uh, you can select a uh, certain amount of provinces that you want to attack. Your divisions will then uh, spread across these uh, two provinces as they land. Now, uh, you can only do a naval invasion of 10 uh, divisions at a time. It doesn't matter how large those divisions are, so they can be 10 widths, they can be 40 widths, it's, it's fine. All you have to do is achieve naval superiority in the regions that matter for the invasion. So, uh, the arrow goes through here, you're gonna need naval superiority in... Now, you would think you'd need it in the English Channel, the North Sea, but actually, if you look at the thing here, this is uh, like a, kind of an exploit, I would say. Uh, you only need uh, naval supremacy in the North Sea. For example, if you were to start one in... Uh, well, from Hamburg, I was... Uh, see, like this, uh, you would need to, uh, it doesn't say actually, but you would also need to control the East and North Sea, which is a problem, because you don't have many ships as Germany. Now, I did build some more ships than you have at the start, and there was a rework in the 1.12 update uh, when it comes to Navy, so we're gonna have to see if it works or not. <laughs> But uh, I'm fairly optimistic, I would say. Yeah, uh, a naval invasion usually takes 70 days to prepare. If you deploy 10 divisions at least. So basically it's 7 days per division that's assigned to the order. Uh, if you see, yeah, these 10 divisions are assigned to the current naval invasion. You can also increase naval invasions by tech. Go here into the, I think it's the naval support tech now. Here you need to go to transports. In fact, you can already in 1940 uh, research the next naval invasion tech, which gives you f 50 capacity and uh, a faster preparation and defense, which is uh, amazing. You should research that. I did not <laughs> in this case. Which... You do need to watch out, however, because uh, some nations don't start with transport ships researched so you should always check if that's the thing if uh, if you're like in that situation uh, next thing you know you're gonna want to do is to uh, even if you're invading the allies uh, to sort of uh, protect your harbors because uh, the uh, the ally the AI's favorite pastime is invading your harbors for some reason it's it's incredibly annoying but what you're gonna do about it? Okay, uh, I would also give it to uh, give a few more people. Fuck it, let's actually just make it 30, so our coasts are defended. Okay, so I'll skip until the naval invasion has prepared. The seven days have passed. Okay, as you can see, the invasion is prepared. The only thing standing in our way is now getting the naval supremacy to actually land. So what we're gonna do now is pretty simple. Take your navies. I don't know how this, how any of this works, okay? I'm, I'm not like the navy guy. Uh, all I know is there's these little ships and I can send them onto uh, naval ships uh, invasion support orders. Um, okay, it looks like we're, we might not be getting the naval supremacy we need. That's a bummer. 
that's it's a big problem as a, as a matter of fact. Uh, we need to get creative now. As you can see, we have like 43-42% naval supremacy right now, which is not enough. We need 50. We need to crack 50 at least. Okay, as you can see, we've now broke through. We are at 93% for some reason. The British just moved their ships out. I don't know what, what this is about, but you should be ready to uh, send your guys over there. So, just send them to the coast already real quick. They should be preparing to go there. Uh, and now Britain has fallen. Uh, there is usually no way in hell that they can... Uh, defend any of this. As a matter of fact, the entire British army should be like chilling in Africa at, at this point, so really it's it's more of a formality defeating them now. As you can see, we did it. All of this is now ours. And even the Italians didn't get any war score. Like, any war score at all. That, that makes me happy. That makes me really happy. Because we don't want them to get anything. Now let's just round up this peace conference. Now the world is yours. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, as you can see... Nothing is standing in the way of uh, conquering the world you, uh, for you now. You own all of Africa. You own uh, Canada, India, Australia. Uh, 